Forgot to change where my camera is. Okay, that's way better. What's up, guys? It's Joycenator. I am playing Madden 18 tonight. Um, we're going to be trying to finish unlocking Night Train Lane. All we got to do is win five games in Seasons, Mutt Champs, or Squads. So obviously Seasons is out of the question. I'm sorry, Mutt Champs is out of the question because uh, there's no tournament going on right now. Um, so I'm going to be playing Seasons. I've only lost one game of Seasons today. I was playing a little bit before stream just to kind of see where my mojo is at. And I'll show you guys right here what we're looking at. Yeah. We've got... Uh, we won our first five games, and then I lost a game a little while ago. But we've won our, five of our first six games this season for Madden. What's up, Stoney? Welcome to the chat. Yeah, so I need five more wins. Five more. And uh, and then we'll have the Night Train Lane, um, which means if I win my next four games and my wild card game, I can have it within my first five games tonight, which would be awesome. Um, I do have the new 98 overall Nate Solder and uh, the 96 overall fullback from uh, NFL Movers. So this is kind of... Uh, what I'm doing until I can unlock the Grandmaster Richard Sherman right now. I see a handful of people tuning in. Thank you so much, Notification Squad. Um, welcome to the chat, Jonathan. Yeah, we're going to be playing... Uh, Or is that, that might be my baby brother on my brother's account, trying to watch me. Your recommended on YouTube is so messed up right now. Thanks, Ethan. Um, if I can get this unlocked relatively quickly, I'll probably do a double stream. So I'll, I'll cut this stream once I get my night train, and then, uh, and then I'll hop on Fortnite so we can get some games in tonight if you want. All right, so this is my team. And I'll be I'll be turning on the audio. Oh wow, this poor guy. Okay, I feel so bad. This guy's about to get his shit kicked in. All right, as soon as it lets me, I'll uh, I'll turn on the volume though. Yeah, as soon as it lets me, I'll I'll turn on the volume quick. I keep forgetting that I, because I'll I shut it off because I don't like listening to it personally. Like when I'm just grinding stuff, I like to uh, focus on like my friends that I'm talking to or like contem silent contemplation, meditation, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I feel really bad for this guy though because he's probably. You think everyone's gonna dip in 30 minutes because? Uh, because of PS4's time at E3. That's that's a fair assessment. Oh, wow. He's got, like, the base, like, Madden, like, original, like, kickoff challenge. Um, he's got, like, the kickoff challenge, Marshawn Lynch and, uh, and Julio Jones. Yeah, my baby brother is very definitely in the chat right now. So, if you guys want to say hi to say hi to JJ, that'd be pretty cool. Could all say hi to my little brother Jay. I feel really bad for this guy. Like, there's absolutely no chance for him to win this. Because, like, I mean, he's got, like, the base team and, like, the kickoff challenge players. And then, like, the Mike Vick Ultimate Legend giveaway card. And uh, 
That's about it. That's about it. I'm going to be a real dick here, and I'm going to blitz him. I, I feel bad kind of preemptively for this, but... What the hell? You know what? You know what? You can have that one. You can have that one. He's got like the Frank Wichick too. I genuinely feel bad for this guy. Like, see what he does if I give him open space. Yeah, I, there's just I just don't see this guy coming out on top of this. If he wants to keep playing, I'll keep playing, but. Kind of hope he doesn't, just for his sake. He's looking over my roster right now. I don't even need to look his over because I already, I already know what it is. He might have put that Kurt Warner card in, but like, it doesn't matter. That Kurt Warner's got like 83 throw power. I feel I feel absolutely terrible for this poor guy. So this is going to be win number one of the five we needed tonight. How's everyone's day going? What's my overall? Overall, I'm 96 on offense and defense. Who do I think I am? Certainly the kind of person to run around leaving scars, if you know what I mean. I'm a jerk? What do you mean I'm a jerk? Yeah, he just conceded there. I feel I feel bad about that. Like there's no reason that teams like that should should be getting placed against me. But yeah, I have I have a 96 offense and a 96 defense. Calling the anti-spider task force. What do spiders have to do with this? Ninety six offense, ninety seven defense. Yeah, I should be a ninety seven defense after I get uh, the next two cards I'm working on, which is uh, the Anthony Hitchens, and um, once I get him, I'll be having, I'll be getting the Grandmaster, um, Richard Sherman too. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. Because I'll, I'll have the Grandmaster, Richard Sherman. I'm getting the Night Train lane tonight. That's pretty much what I'm doing on stream tonight, is I'm just playing until I get him. And then... Because uh, I only need four more wins to get him. And then... Uh, so I'll have my Night Train, my Grandmaster, the Anthony Hitchens. And... Um, yeah, that should that should pretty much get me to a 90 97. Oof. Oof. This guy's got a good team, but that's okay. I have a good team too.
You got the Night Train, Ed Reed, and Brian Dawkins. Honestly, like once you got two safeties that can that can really put in work. Um, that that that's about all you need to get started for a defense, in my opinion. I mean, my my defensive line is uh, I got the '98 Everson Griffin, um, the '98 Malik Jackson, who is '99 with chemistry. The, uh, the golden ticket Aaron Donald and the 97 Cameron Wake from NFL Replays. He's got a Herschel Walker back there, and I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, maybe not too bad. Because honestly, like, once you have two safeties, you can kind of do anything. Um, so my safeties right now are Minka Fitzpatrick and um, Patrick Chung. Minka Fitzpatrick and Patrick Chung. And then uh, I have, I mean, I'm going to be swapping out the Cameron Wake for Brandon Graham at some point here, but it's not like a big, I'm not too worried about it. It's not a pressing concern for me. That is not the play that I wanted. But yeah, I'm really excited to get the night train lane. Um, oh shit. Well, I didn't get to audible out of it fast enough. He snapped the ball right away. I wanted to be in cover three Mabel there. Did not want that. You need a good 97 plus wide receiver. Hopefully get to 97 overall. Yeah, um, I only have one that's better than 97. It's... Uh, It's my Calvin Johnson, the 99. He's really good, though. Um, I got him as, like, the Nat, like, the, the free Nat. Or the, you know. Yeah, no, it was uh, for completing a set of challenges a while back. And uh, he's got Pound the Rock, which does not work for my offense at all. But it is what it is, I guess. Where did Aaron Donald go on that? Like, I'm trying to user him right into the play, and he just keeps running sideways. But okay, I guess. But yeah, um, otherwise, my, my other two wide receivers are the 96 Brandon Cooks from the Combine and uh, the 95 Juju Smith-Schuster from um, the Easter, Easter stuff. What is going on? Like, what the actual fuck is that? I'm getting thoroughly annoyed right now. There we go. Yeah, uh, my biggest need right now is probably left outside linebacker, in all honesty. Right now I have a 94 overall position heroes, uh, Von Miller, who does not fit my scheme at all but all right let's see if we can pick him off right here that'd be kind of cool i got really lucky and kind of spoiled with uh with my first game What the hell? Yes. 
Oh no, why did it change the stumble recovery? What? It was backwards and then when I tried to hit backwards on it, it was forwards. What the fuck? It's okay though. Yeah, sure enough, looks like everyone's heading out to uh, to watch the PlayStation stuff at E3. I definitely expected at least two yards out of that. No joke. an okay run. Uh, after his safety fell down, I thought I was going to get a touchdown out of that. But Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're try I'm trying to get to uh, 1,500 subscribers by like tomorrow or the day after. That's kind of the idea. Um, I've been kind of bouncing back and forth between like 15, 1510 and 1475 for a few days now, so I, I'd like to get above uh, 1500 and just stay there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go for it here. Normally, I would punt in this situation, but he ate up a lot of time, and uh, and I'm not sure that I'll get the ball back this half if I if I don't go for it there. Because normally I would punt. I'm I'm a big believer in you know the punting punting being a a very important part of the game. Um, and that good punting can make or break a game for you. Oh, ooh, no. Okay. There we go. I love this Rashad Penny, but the one the one issue I have is that sometimes he fumbles when, when I really don't expect him to. And uh, that part kind of sucks. But other than that, he's a great card. He plays way better than a 95. Headset's got to come off. I've been playing for a while today, so it, it's just kind of hurting my head at this point. A lot of people don't get to see me with my headset off, so this is going to be kind of cool. You guys can still hear me all right, though, right? You got 31? We all start somewhere. I remember when I had 31. Um, I think, for me, I had a, a really big Facebook following before I started doing stuff on YouTube. Um, so I got like my first, I think, 38 in the first uh, in the first two days, if I remember right, something like that. Ooh, fuck. Oh, ooh, wow. Okay, that is not at all who I meant to throw to, but that that works. 
incomplete works there. PS3, PS4, E3 in 10 minutes. I don't know why they have it so late. Like that's my that's my question. Why is it so late? Xboxes was like in the middle of the afternoon. Oh wow. Okay. So I guess he's just gonna stop running his route in the middle of the field. That's fine. That's fine. All right, let's see what this guy can do when he actually has to, like, move the ball quickly. Because that's a big thing. You take points where you can get them in this. Oh, it's 15 minutes? Yeah, I guess that makes more sense. Put it right at 8 central, 9, nine eastern. I was like, oh no, but then both my both my D tackles are secure tacklers, so not really a concern there. Is he really just gonna run off the clock? He totally is. He's just straight up running out the clock. The audacity of this guy to just keep running the ball with less and less time on the clock. That's kind of... That's gutsy, I guess. What the fuck? comes a timeout. Yeah, he's just going to try to nickel and dime out of this uh, out of this Garbo set. I don't understand why people like this set so much. It's pretty bad. I mean, it's better in some playbooks than others, but like, still. He thinks I'm just going to go away. He can think again. Did he get it? No, he didn't. Okay, cool. What the fuck is this guy doing? This is where we run cover two sync and just uh, hope that we can catch him underneath. Oh shit. Wow. Wow. Are you serious? I give him less than a minute and he puts up points. Are you fucking serious right now? Using arguably one of the worst sets in the game too. What the fuck? At least I get the ball back at half. He kicked it deep enough. No, he didn't. He's going to make me return it.
Yeah. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. My head just looks really weird without a headset on in, in the face cam, so we're gonna we're gonna put that right back on. I'm really surprised I didn't get a touchdown out of that last that last drive though. Like it it probably really should be seven to seven right now. Yeah. I'm not getting past that D Ware. I don't know what DeMarcus Ware that is, probably the Super Bowl one, but uh you're not getting past him. Not usually. Maybe if you got like fucking Barry or something. Throw the fucking ball, dude. He fucking dropped that? What the fuck? He had it secured and cradled it as he went to the ground, and he still fucking dropped it. Good to know. Thanks, thanks, Madden. I'm I'm really hoping that's one of the things they fix in Madden 19, um, is fucking passes, like catching passes, one of the most basic elements of the game of football, and and they can't even get it right. That is probably the only thing that I adamantly fucking hate about Madden 18. That and how you can just, like, jack up a, a wide receiver in the middle of a play. Um, fuck. Did not expect that. I expected, uh, expected that post play he's been running all game. Because he's basically one man offensing through this Herschel Walker. And it's super annoying. And all he's running is chew clock and hurry up. Like he's not running normal anything. Are you fucking serious? They just, like, knocked over my fucking 98 overall Everson Griffin. Like, are you serious? I haven't had someone run all over me this bad, like, in a very long time. I think the last time something like this happened, I had, like, an 86 overall team. Like, it was bad. Like, you've got to be fucking kidding me right now. Because I'm not going to get the ball back from him. He's just going to keep doing stretch plays and... Uh... He's just going to keep running stretch plays in that, that stupid set. Because... Uh... For whatever reason, like, my corners aren't going to the flats, and I'm not going to user play my corners all game. Like, I'm not doing that. First off, I suck at playing corner. Second, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Why would I do that if I can play D-line or D um, or a linebacker? Like, there's no reason for that.
See what I mean? Like my ever or my uh, Shaquille Griffin, he's not he's not going to the hard flat. He's supposed to be in a hard flat where he plays about three to four yards off the line at most. He's playing about six or seven. See, right now I have him in a cloud flat. We'll see if he even does that. Oh. There we go. Thank you, Levante, David. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Like, you keep doing the same stuff over and over. I'm going to eventually stop it, but... Doesn't mean I enjoy playing against it. Because that's the big thing. Like, I like to have fun when I play. Playing against the same three plays all game, it's not fun. Because that's all he does is these same, like, three plays. He'll run that stretch play and then, like, two plays out of, uh... There we go. Yeah. Do I have any mods in the chat right now? Or is it all just new people for the most part? I'm worried about that Calvin Johnson on the outside, to be honest. What the hell? <laughs> That's not what I expected him to do. It's not even close. Okay. Whatever works, I guess. Hit him with that cover three, Mabel. And there's that power. Yeah, there we go. That's the thing. Like, you might get away with that for a couple of quarters, but you can't just run the same three plays all game. Like, it doesn't work like that. Maybe in squads, if you got a gimmicky enough play that you can edit enough come on oh damn I just I overthrew him on that feels bad I genuinely thought I, I might get a free touchdown on that play but not meant to be overthrew him a little bit I don't really see the point in kicking a field goal here. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me why you would do that.
Just not really the smart play. And normally, like, I try to kick when I can, you know, because I, I hate people who go for it every single play on... Uh, every single play on fourth down. But uh, in that case, it just seemed like the smart play. Damn. Every time I see that secure tackler symbol pop up, a little part of me dies inside. It's just like, well, no getting away from that. I'm curious if he's going to call this timeout or not. I don't think he will. I think he lets it go to the two-minute warning and calls the timeout if I if I uh, keep the clock running. Buys him the most time out of any of his options, really. No, come on, man. I hate getting I hate getting hung up on my lineman like that. It just annoys the ever living daylights out of me. I'm gonna see if I can get him to give me this first down. Not where I want to be. God damn it. Not at all where I wanted to be with that. Because I thought Juju Smith-Schuster was going to stand still there. And he didn't. Started moving. So. Because I didn't want to playmaker him in any direction. I wanted him exactly where he was. But wasn't going to happen, I guess. So does Von Miller just not have the speed to keep up with Herschel Walker? Because if not, maybe I need to start running, like, nickel sets. I mean, I probably should be running nickel sets anyway here, but, like, it's a legitimate question. There we go. Oh. All right. All right. They gave him forward progress, but that's okay. I do want to thank everyone who's tuning in, though. It means a lot. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out tonight. I think it gave him out of bounds there. Never gives me out of bounds when I do that, but I think it gave it to him there, which is fine. That's how it's supposed to. Yeah, he's straight up one man offensing with this Herschel Walker. I'm gonna have to stop him again. I really thought this golden ticket Aaron Donald would perform a little bit better. Damn. <sighs> it's okay, though. Would have been really nice to come away with that pick there, but not meant to be, I guess. switching it up that means his Calvin's on the post now I don't like that or he's not what I want to know what what he's doing with that then because he's out of timeouts right now so as long as we can keep the clock moving we're doing okay um, it'd be nice to sack him on one of these plays. Or force a fumble would be even better since he keeps handing the ball off.
Yeah, it's definitely a Vertz. There we go. Just got to keep playing him tight. I thought about running man up three deep on this, and I, I'm, I probably should have, all things considered, but. Come on, Aaron Donald. You can put him under pressure. That's game. <sighs> Definitely not my best offensive showing, but. Defensively, I think I did an okay job for most of that game. First drive definitely had me in some sticky situations, but came out on top. All right, so we're going to be all pro first team next season. Oh, it gave me it gave me my season already. Okay. Oh no, I still get to I still get to play my next two non playoff games. That's good. Did it automatically put me in already or no? No, it's keeping okay, okay. Alright. Good to know. So I stay all pro second string. Hello, Het. Jake Ryder. Welcome back to the chat. It's good to hear from you. Thanks for coming back. Yep. We are two games in. Yeah, two games in. We need three more wins tonight, and we'll unlock our night train lane. Going to be pretty great. Forty-seven minute wait for what? You're glad to be back. I am. I am doing great. Um, I didn't actually have to go in for my first day of work. Um, I don't have to go in for my second day either. So that's. I mean, I'd like to be making that money because it's good money. Like it pays really well. But I got to sit on my ass all day for matchmaking. It was like forty-seven seconds. I also want to thank everyone who's watching right now, even though E3 is going on right now. Um, I know PlayStation is up for E3. All right, so they got a good team. They got a good team, but so do we. It was counting down. What? Oh, I guess I didn't notice. Yeah, he's got really talented wide receivers. So that's going to be a really tough matchup for me because uh, the whole point of this is I'm trying to get better corners and uh, <laughs> I don't have those yet. I got my fake spike. I will try. I will try my very best to get a fake spike in for you today. I will I will do my best for you. Double digit viewers, thank you so much guys. We can get a anyone who is watching for the last two games, if we can get a, a couple of likes for for the two straight wins to start, that'd be awesome. You caught that? Yeah, you got that. I think this is the uh the Easter T Mobile. I'm pretty sure that's who that is. Yeah, he's got 399 overall wide receivers, though. Or, well, one's 98. Two of them are, technically, but... He's just going to keep doing this all game. We're going to have to switch to cover two. 
Or cover six. Cover six would actually be a really good idea, but. Look at him just audibling the shit out of it. Holy wow. Yep. There it goes. Got him to at least drop it, I guess. Counts for something, right? That's probably the combine John Ross, too. Super fast. Like 98 speed or something like that. I'm not going to be able to keep up with that. There we go. That I can do, though. Aw, an oldie. Look at that play. Look at that. I remember using that play on Madden 08. There we go. Fourth and what, 24 now? 23? Let's see if he goes for it. I really hope for his sake he doesn't go for it, but let's see if he does. He's going for it. All right. There we go. That's why you don't go for it on 4th and 23, dude. It's, uh, it's usually better that you just don't. That went nowhere, but that's okay. If you got a bunch of yards every time you ran the ball, it would kind of defeat the methodology of running the ball. The whole pound the rock mentality says you're not going to get it every time. It's more the fact that you're actually running the ball that matters. There we go. Set up those blocks. Mm. I love it. I love it. We're actually, I'm probably going to see if I can get this guy to rage quit if if this keeps going like this. Because um, usually people will just like rage quit after one or two times not getting it on fourth down. And uh, I intend to never let him get it on fourth down. So... There's that. He hasn't run the ball once, though, and that kind of scares me. Like, I'm genuinely concerned because he has not run the ball. So I don't know what his rushing tendencies are. Like, I don't know what kind of run plays he likes to run. I don't know, you know, if he's more of, like, a dives, zones, powers, stretch, like, what what his kind of thing is. And that's, what, that's the only thing that kind of scares me right now. But we're going to make sure we keep this QB spy on. I am in cover three. I'm going to have to switch to cover two more than likely here after this play. It worked out okay, but I don't I don't like taking chances like that. So we're probably, we're going to go 4-3, Tampa 2. Put, put our middle linebacker in a spy. Ooh. All right. No, I see you. I see you. He switched it up. He ran his ace posts. Now, he hot-routed three of those guys, so I, I don't really know what he was doing, but I feel like, did he keep any of his tight ends to block there? I didn't I didn't really pay attention, to be honest. There's a stretch play. 
Can't say I'm surprised, but hold them to five yards on a, on a stretch play first time running it, I'm okay with that because I'm fully expecting him to pass the ball there. So, uh, yeah, if we, can, if we can hold him to stuff like that, I'm okay with it. Uh oh, that's a, that's not a that's not a run. Damn it! Yeah, he totally faked me out there. He definitely faked me out hardcore. It's okay though. We scored first. We got the ball back at halftime. I'm not too concerned right now. I love how my dude just like got knocked back by his blocker's elbow grease there. I wouldn't really say that's like a game breaking issue. Oh wow, no one picked up that block. Okay. Alright. Oh well, whatever, fuck it. Yeah, that little blue secure tackler logo. When I'm on defense, it is the thing that makes me most happy in the world. And when I'm on offense, uh, part of my soul dies every time I see it. Secure tackler is super good. I would argue the only two that are probably as good as far as letter chemistry are maybe pick specialist and... Uh, Pick special, specialist and unfakeable. Unfakeable is really good. Oh no. Dude, my fullback looked at him. Why is my fullback going after a safety when Ray Lewis is sitting right there? I just got the new 96, I just got the new 96 overall fullback, too. Because before I could blame it on, well, he's not a very high overall, he's only like 88 or whatever. Only on my team for chemistry kind of stuff. Now I'm like actually trying to use my fullback. And, uh, and I'm kind of annoyed. Like, that's an easy first down if he just picks up Ray Lewis there. Oh my god. He's running the same fucking thing every play. Um, I have focus kicker. My punter has focus kicker. So uh, it always goes at pro difficulty, not all pro difficulty. And it's really nice. It is, it's super, super easy to punt uh, when, you have, when you have focus kicker. Yep, I have like the 90 overall Johnny Hecker. Yeah, I should have just I should have just fair caught that, but oh well. All right, now we're going to get a little aggressive on him cuz uh I'm pretty annoyed that he's getting away with running the exact same fucking play every time. I stopped him once, but uh once out of 3 you know, they say two out of three is not bad. Well, one out of three is pretty bad. If I do lose this game, it'll be my first loss tonight, though. So I'm, I'm not too upset one way or another right now. Oh, come on. That was big. 
I would have been in some serious trouble if I didn't pick up that first down. That's uh, what, Cam Chancellor with Secure Tackler? I think. Pretty sure. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Whew. I wasn't sure if he was going to make that back shoulder, if he was going to try to run into it. Because if he, if he tries to run into that, because I tried throwing it back shoulder to him, but if he tries running into that, that's an easy pick for, for the bad guys, and we don't need that right now. We don't need that at all. No, sir. No, thank you. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Try a halfback angle. Damn, okay. All right. Try this. Oh shit. Well, this is less than ideal. But it almost got me a touchdown, so I'll be I'll be okay with it. Yeah, I got Matt Ryan. It's just the uh the Mutt Heroes 2 one. My chemistry's got him up to a 99, but He's I mean he's okay. He's okay. Ooh. Hello Ray Lewis. Okay. I definitely expected him to commit more to the tight end, but that's okay. I guess I shouldn't have after the fullback blocked. You got the 99 Dan Marino? That's a really good card. Dan the man. Oh, wow. What the hell? I'm not going to question that one too hard. I'm not going to question it too hard. Illegal touching? He didn't touch anyone the whole play. What? What? Okay, Madden. Oh, oh, you're saying, okay, got it, got it, got it. I was very confused because I didn't I didn't see him step out either. I didn't see him step out. That really sucks because he was wide open too. And he's like 97 overall, so there's his awareness is good enough he shouldn't have been stepping out of bounds there. He's got like 97 awareness or something like that. Yeah, because he was my third read on that play, so I wasn't looking at him the first half of the play. Wow. 
Bob. Can he audible this play, Doctor It Up, anymore? There's the toss. I hate that it calls it a user stumble recovery because that card has never stumble. Like, it's not a user stumble recovery, it's just the card. Uh oh. There we go. I hate how elusive this, this berry is. Like, even if you got him what should be locked up, he, uh, he'll still find a way to bite you. I don't know why he doctors up the play so much when he's just going to pitch it to the halfback. There we go. Oh, he put his Tomlinson in. That's cool. That's cool. Uh-oh, I didn't put a spy on. That is okay? Yeah. Yeah, that, oh, that's going to annoy me now. Because I didn't even I didn't even look at him the first half of the play, because he's my third read on that. Damn, that's really irritating. I just hope that I can get away with, yeah, there we go, with not running a spy on that play. Fourth and twelve, he's totally just gonna go for this, right? Yeah, it's my forty-three. He's totally just gonna go for this. Give him a little cushion. What? That's why I need a new... I don't know. Because the... The linebacker I'm getting has worse zone coverage than than my current one does, so I don't know if it would even matter. But Yeah, I just straight up do not have the corners to match. I don't have them. My best corner is uh, technically the Rondé Barber, but technically it's the 97 Rondé Barber. Don't choke. I don't know. Choking would involve uh, me having the lead at some point. If I lose this game, it's my first loss of the night, though, and only my second loss all day, so I'm okay with it if it happens. It's just... Uh, not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Oh, I guess I had a three point. Yeah, I, I guess I scored a, a field goal, right? No, I had a that long touchdown run or something, right? I don't even remember how I scored this game, to be honest. I don't really focus on what's happened earlier as far as, like, that kind of stuff. I pay more attention to, like, broader tendencies.
going to see if I can keep this going, though. Yeah, apparently not. It's what, third and one now? Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. I wasn't sure he was going to have space to catch that. I thought he was probably going to get popped as soon as he tried. So uh, that's what the oh no was about. But he came through for me. I don't really like that Betis card. I want a better backup, but I feel like a better starter is probably in order, and then I can just have uh, Evans. Oh, wow. Told him to bullet it, but he just kind of lolly popped it up there. That's been happening to me a lot lately, though. Like, I'll tell him to throw a bullet pass, and he'll just kind of, like, toss it up in the air like you'd toss a, a softball. Yeah, I just... Shaquille Griffin's not fast enough to keep up with this guy. We're just going to... We're going to concede on him. And get to our next game as fast as we can. I don't have the corners to keep up with his receivers. He's got 399 overall receivers, and I my best corner is a 97. So, it's okay, though. It's my first loss of the night. I don't really care. How about a no-run challenge? Absolutely not. Wait, what? It started my playoffs. Wow, I did not realize that was my playoffs. I thought that was just uh, finishing up my season. That's super frustrating. Because I thought you had to finish out your season. All right, well, that's okay, I guess. How many more wins do we need? Yeah, we need three more wins to get our night train. Let's go, uh, go back into seasons. Because we're all pro first string. So. Damn. I, I didn't realize. Kind of sucks. What do I get per game for this? Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. No field goals challenge? I mean, ideally, I... Oh, you want to see my team? Sure. Sure, sure. Yeah, so this is my team right now, as soon as I can get to it. It's my offense. It's okay. Could be better. And then uh, th these are my new toys. I just got the, the NFL Movers Nate Solder and uh, the Jamiz Olawale uh, for my fullback. He's actually really good. I, I, I'm probably going to try to run some fullback, fullback bellies, fullback dives and stuff in these next couple of games. And then this is my defense. Um, I'm going for the 97 um, Anthony Hitchens right now. Yeah, the Megatron. I was... The only thing that sucks, because I got him as like the reward for finishing that challenge set, and uh, for like fan appreci or player appreciation weekend, so he got double pound the rock and not double move the sticks. And I would have absolutely loved for him to have double move the sticks, but it's okay. It's all right. Um, and then yeah, here's my defense. Like I said, I got a pretty solid defensive line. Uh, my safeties are both 97s, but they play kind of I mean they're technically 96s but they play way above that so I'm pretty okay with them um, Patrick Chung with the tip drill super super nice comes in really handy um, I like this Levante David a lot he's really good Megatron's on your wish list he's really good he's he's definitely I mean I'll, I'll pull up his stats here because uh, I also have my go deep chemistry maxed so that boosts him a little bit yeah 96 speed 98 catching 99 spectacular catch 96 catch in traffic. The real kicker, and it doesn't come in super, super often, 
but uh, 99 jumping as a six foot five. That 99 spectacular catch, it's pretty nice. I feel comfortable throwing it up into double coverage with him if I need to on a Hail Mary, just because he can he can get up that high. Um, so. Yeah, and then uh, my backup tight end is this Zach Ertz. That's who I was looking for on that on that illegal touching play. That's who I was really looking for was the position hero, Zach Ertz. I'll be upgrading him eventually. Just got to get around to it first. Um, Anthony Hitchens kind of takes priority right now. So that's kind of what's up with that. Um, I guess I should probably show you guys my uh, my special teams too. Cause like, like I said, I have the 90 overall Johnny Hecker with focus kicker and uh, and then 94 Greg Zerline from Position Heroes. But yeah, we need three more wins. And we just got into uh, first team all pro. So let's go play that. And it's not even like we just barely got in there. Like I lost literally two games my entire season in second team all pro. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, I just, if you can see, I only have uh, 16,000 coins after getting the other two movers players. So I'm trying to uh, trying to get enough coins to get Anthony Hitchens. And then I'm trading them all in for 99 Sherman. That's what I'm working on right now. But all right, we're top 6% in the world. It's, uh, I know, that's, that's all I need. But uh, they're all expensive. And I have 16,000 coins. And I need somewhere in the neighborhood of like 100,000, give or take. So. And I'm actually going to be dumping that last 16k to finish off my elite token that I'm working on. So I'm going to have zero coins and I'm still going to need like a solid 100k. So. There's that. Um. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna be grinding, playing a little bit, trying to get uh, trying to get the Hitchens. As soon as I get Hitchens, I'm trading in all my kings, getting them all back as Nats because they're all the ones I want, and uh, and I'm getting my my 99 Sherman. So hopefully by tomorrow I'll have the 99 Night Train, the 97 Hitchens, and the 99 Sherman is my plan right now. Gonna be pretty good. And the thing is, depending on what his overall rating is, I might even be playing that Hitchens at left outside linebacker because I need I need a better... That's my biggest need. Crystal Davis, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Yeah. All right, we're up against another... I mean, you kind of have to expect it at this point. Um, we're top 6% in the world now, so... Kind of have to expect these 98 to 99 teams. I don't expect to see another team... That's like the same as me or worse right now. Um, shut the fuck up, pet. You're here like every night. I love you, buddy. But uh, we'll play it. We'll play it safe with some cover three sky to start off. Just kind of looking at his players. I there we go. But yeah, welcome, welcome to SEAL Team Joyce. Pleasure to have you aboard. Chat mod Charlie, thank you so much for blessing us with your presence this fine evening. We need three more wins. We have gotten two wins and one loss so far on stream tonight. And a uh, total of six wins, two losses all day today. So there's that. He's got some sort of Mariota, though. Kind of curious what, Mar what Mariota that is. I know there's like... It's probably the Signature Series one, right? Like the limited edition signa Signature Series? Uh-oh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Jonah, you love feet. Good for you. Someone's gotta, right? Someone's gotta. I sure as fuck don't. But, but I'm not one to judge. Sit the fuck down. You mean foot? I 
I know what you're trying to say. That is just probably the weirdest way you could have said it, Het. There we go. There's my sack. I've got a great idea and involves me shoving my foot up this guy's ass. Yeah, I kind of I kind of danced around a little too much. I probably should have just taken a straight shot and taken my chances with that gunner on the outside. I know you overcomplicate everything. That's kind of why I like you. I'm sorry, which franchise, Charlie? Cuz I know I know the one like our main one that I have with like my Patreon supporters and stuff. Um you're in the NFC and we're in the playoffs, so I'd be very confused if you were actually playing the Bengals. Oh, that one. That one. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about now. I look like Birch? Who's Birch? Bear in mind, Madden is nowhere near my, my number one game. It's not even close to my top, so... If you're talking about like a Madden YouTuber, odds are I don't know who they are. And that's picked as fuck. That's Ed Reed, right? Yeah, that's Ed Reed. Why would you Oh, in the in that one. No, I understand what you're saying. What the hell? Sit down. There's another zone split? No, he just, he straight up just bounced that stretch play inside. Weird. Uh-oh. I have ADHD? I don't know, I might. Probably should get tested. It would explain a lot of stuff. Although I don't really think I have the hyperactivity part. Probably just ADD. I'm okay th with that though. I'll I'll take that as a win. After uh, why no wins in Fortnite, dude? I have like 300 wins in Fortnite. I'm actually gonna be playing Fortnite tonight once I get my night train. I don't I don't actually think I do, but I have been told I should get tested before. For uh for ADD. I have a lot of other mental health problems, so it wouldn't surprise me per se, but. Uh, But I don't know. Oh, wow. That happened fast. Okay. Oh, shit. That's picked again. I just literally did the exact same fucking thing I did last time. That's really bad, though. I should really be paying attention to what he's doing on on defense instead of in the ch instead of what's happening in the chat. Because right now I'm just kind of like. Keeping an eye on the chat, and I haven't even—I could not even tell you what he's run on defense once. 
Um, I, I'm pretty sure he got me on cover three on both of the picks. Other than that, I got nothing. All right, well, that's the first quarter. Mental health is a weird thing, though. It's really weird. I have I have four different mental health disorders, which is probably why I don't fit in with a lot of people in real life. Like, I have a hard time maintaining deep and lasting friendships because uh, a lot of people have a hard time relating to me or connecting to me. But... Oh shit, he actually... Oh, okay. Wow, okay. Yeah, this guy's defense is really good. I was a little worried he was going to tackle me before that, but it's okay. It's all good. Worked out okay. I kind of stared him down once he called for the ball. Oh my god, dude, he just sacked me. Did he just sack me through my lineman? Yeah. This team's like 99, 98 overall, somewhere in there. Just based on who he's, who I've seen for players so far. So you're just going to grab my guy and yank him to the ground? While he's going for the ball? Question mark? Do I check my Discord? I check it every day. At least a couple of times. Only on the 32nd of every month. Hentai is also a weird thing. It's kind of messed up. But it's... uh. It fills a hole in the hearts of a lot of people, so. It's not the only hole it fills. Am I right, boys? If I could strip sack him, that'd be great. That'd be absolutely fanta fantastic. You're going to message me on Discord? Okay. I'll see it when I get done streaming. For sure. There we go. The big thing here is I can't get anything going on offense against him. My defense is doing just fine. Like, my defense has been doing way better than I ask it to do normally. Um, and I ask a lot of this defense. Oh, uh, wow. That is nowhere near the play I expected to see. Okay. That is, wow, that's not even close to the play I expected to see.
I mean, I like strip, ta strip sack touchdowns because I get them a lot more than they happen to me. And if they do happen to me, I'm just like, you know what? All right, man. Good on you. You know, can't be too mad about it. I sacked someone eight times in one game earlier today and couldn't get a strip sack. It was very frustrating. Oh, damn. I thought I was going to get the pick there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Especially if it's a user force fumble, I can't even be mad. Cannot even be mad. Yeah. I tried to switch over and user it in time, but it didn't happen. I thought I'd pick up at least a couple of yards there. Damn. Yeah, I have not been able to complete a single pass so far this game, so if I can complete one here, that'd be pretty big for me. I, I hate, I hate that. Because normally I complete that pass no problem, and then sometimes it just goes way over his head. Come on. No way, dude! He gave my guy a bear hug and just picked me off. Did you see that? It's like he's got fucking stick on his hands. I understand he's got pick specialist, but my god! What the fuck? That one, that one wouldn't have been a user pick because that uh, that Von Miller I have has hands made of stone. There we go. Dive to force him right into the D end. I don't know if I had the speed to get there. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. It's Marcus Mariota, so who knows. Oh, are you serious right now? He's been kicking on fourth down all game. I call one timeout, and he goes for it. The one time I... There we go. There we go. Come on. Are you serious? What is it going to take for me to actually come up with something this game? I got three guys on top of that ball. No one comes up with it? What the fuck? There we go. That's more like it. That is so much more like it. Okay. I am, like, struggling. I just I want to complete one pass this whole game. That's all I want at this point. There we go. Give myself a little breathing room. Oh no. No, 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 no. Fuck off. I was even covering the ball there. At least I told it to, whether it actually did or not, who can say, but like. What the fuck? Why 
whatever. I'm just gonna I'm gonna concede this game. I think if I if I can't get anything going on the first first uh, first drive after halftime, we're gonna concede this one. I can't do anything against this guy. His cover three is way too good, and uh, and Madden is fucking me over pretty hard this game with its bullshit. Covering the ball with 95 carrying, still a fumble. Dude's not even looking for the ball, goes to play the receiver. Interception through the receiver's body. And I'm sacked. I just don't have time to get the ball off. I'm just going to take a knee. <sighs> yeah, if I can't get, get anything going on this first drive here, probably going to call it. Yeah, because my running back's got like 95 carrying. There's really no reason that he should have fumbled there. Beat me to it. Fuck. What the fuck is that? All right, that's game. He can have this one. I'm trying to watch in the replay now. See see what exactly was happening there. That kind of rips me to pieces. Let me back that up a second. So I can actually see what's going on. Yeah, he straight up he straight up predicted what I was going to do on that play and just jumped right to it. Dude wasn't even looking for the ball. He just uh had him reach out his hands and grab it. All right. We still need 3 wins tonight. We are 7 and 3 on the day. 7 and 3 so far today. Yeah, carrying in this game is kind of kind of really dumb though. Cuz like you said, you can have perfect carrying and you'll still fumble like a couple times a game. I had one game earlier today where I fumbled uh and surprisingly I won this game, but I fumbled five straight plays in a row with five different players.
That Lamar Jackson's really good. The Juju's pretty good too, but... I like this guy's name, though, for his team, M16. It's kind of cool. Not really sure what he's doing here, but... I think all of his players were Nats, though, right? No, the Juju wasn't. Juju is definitely not. So he's already down... He's got Boletnikov. Got him down to the one. Come on. They gave him forward progress on it. There we go. First two plays, we get a sack and an interception. That's what you call a hot start right there. That is what you call a hot start. Let's keep it going. Oh, shit. Charles Haley? Yeah, Charles Haley. Arguably the best 3-4 outside linebacker in the game. Pretty good. Oh, well, Khalil Mack. Forgot about him. The 99 Khalil Mack is really good. But Charles Haley is nothing to turn your nose up at either. He's got that Ray Lewis inside. He's running like a 2-4 nickel right now. All right, I got my yard back. I can't wait to, uh, to see who you play either. It's going to be exciting. One thing I hope they add in the next uh, Madden is the ability to audible into post and corner routes. I've wanted that for a while. Be kind of nice to see it. That's not a good throw right there. I'm going to try for this 54 yarder. I hit a, a 53 yarder earlier tonight. Oh my god! Wow! That is absolutely heartbreaking. I think he's got the yeah, he's got the 99 David Johnson and he just gave it to him while I was in a dime set. But it doesn't matter who you give it to.
That really irritates me, though. Apparently, uh, my maximum limit for field goals is 53 yards because I had perfect power on that one. Ooh! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah! Now we're talking! Did I get... I got better field position out of that! What the hell? Alright. Alright, it's cool. It's cool. There we go. 11 yards. Yeah, the big question, though, Charlie, is who are you going to meet in the Super Bowl? Because uh, Adam, Adam and I are simming our game, so... Is my channel family-friendly? I wouldn't say, like, that it's aimed at families, but... I mean, I've been trying to cut down on the swearing, I guess, if that answers your question, like I've been trying to. I haven't been doing a great job at it, but uh, I've been trying to cut down on it. No, no, that's just the Minecraft server. But no, I, I wouldn't say that my channel is necessarily family friendly. I, I wouldn't say that, no. Take yards where I can get them, I guess. You think I'm really good at Madden or at streaming? Because I'm definitely nowhere near as good as I used to be at Madden. I used to be, I used to be considerably better. That that one hurts. At Madden. Yeah, I'm in. Uh, I'm I'm ranked first team All Pro, um, which puts me top six percent in the world, which isn't amazing, but it's it's pretty good, pretty decent. It's it's good, it's decent. Taking my points where I can get them, I guess. He plays all right defense. I mean, I've gotten a little unlucky on uh, some of those contested catches, but. Thanks, Jake. Uh, fun fact, my name's Jake, too. That is my first name. Joyce is my last name. Uh, I'm... That's where the, the Joyceinator comes from. It's an old uh, high school football nickname that I turned into my gamer tag like years ago, like six years ago, and it just kind of stuck. But yeah, my name is Jake, too. I do play Fortnite. Fortnite is actually uh, probably, I would consider it to be my main game. Um, oh, that's not who I want. Oh, no. Yep, that Juju Bear cut loose. He's been trying to hit that all game so far. But yeah, I do play Fortnite. I have about 300 wins in Fortnite, just under. I'm closing in on it right now. Um, if I can get three more wins tonight on Madden, I'll be switching over to Fortnite and playing some Fortnite tonight. Otherwise, uh, I don't have to work tomorrow, so I plan on streaming like all day tomorrow, since I can't stream tomorrow night. I'll probably be playing Fortnite tomorrow, for sure. You ain't going nowhere, Lamar!
See, like right here, we know it's going to be a pass play. We know he's going over the top. He's got really good receivers, so we need to try to put our defensive players in the best position possible to make a play on this ball. Yep, I, I only have like 20 solo wins. Most of my wins come in squads because that's what I play most of the time. I usually play with a squad. I've got like 235 squad wins, like 35 or so duo wins and like 20 solo wins. Yeah, check out the, the Discord server. I'm doing a 1,000 V-Buck giveaway on Discord um, when I get 100 members on Discord. So if you guys are interested in that, um, check it out. Hey, there's nothing wrong with sucking at Fortnite. I sucked at Fortnite when I started playing it. I was really bad. Now I got like 300 wins. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with ever sucking at a game. Wait, I'm sorry, is your name... Has your name been Jade this whole time? Am I just that illiterate? I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm an illiterate, uncultured swine. Clearly. That is... Wow, okay. I'm just illiterate. I, I feel like a total douche. I'm like... Shia LaBeouf, the Prince douche. Um, there it is. And he drops it? Bro, this man's. All right. That's okay. I've seen him catch way harder catches than that, but okay. It's fine. Zanes, go back to killing goldfish or something. That really frustrates me. I've seen him catch way harder passes than that. I mean, like, I'm talking, like, getting hit by two guys at once and, like, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little salty about that one because he's open. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Should have possession caught it? I did. That's not what it recommended that I do, but it's what I actually pressed. The prompt on the screen was aggressive catch. I went for possession. Maybe it didn't matter, though, because he was already in the process of getting hit. I don't know. I got nothing. It's whatever. I'm winning. That's the thing. I, I try not to complain even when I'm losing. Like, I try not, not to complain too much when I'm losing. And uh, if I'm winning, I try to complain even less. I feel like that's a good... It's a, it's a realistic expectation to have. The good thing would be, don't complain when you're winning, complain even less when you're losing. But I go for a realistic expectation of... Uh, try not to complain when I'm losing actively work to complain even less when I'm winning because if I'm winning I just need to I need to just chill out not worry about it and uh, and just kind of go on with my life but yeah we are seven and three on the day sitting up in first team all pro They both went for it instead of uh, setting up for a tip drill. But that's okay. I'd rather have both guys g uh, go for it and nothing happen than one guy back off and have him catch it. He's going for this like weird kind of like fade route. That's what he's been doing most of the game. See, here it is again. He keeps going for it. He's been doing this like all game. Ever since you got here, I've been losing. I don't know. I'm doing okay right now. If 
But yeah. I hadn't lost a game yet until you showed up. So I guess that is kind of funny. Uh, what? It's, it's an illegal forward pass, so I don't really care. As cool as an interception might have been, um, it's an illegal forward pass, so I, I don't care. I do want to thank everyone who's still watching, though. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for hanging out with me on this Monday night, trying to shake your case of the Mondays. Yeah, because he just keeps going for these, like, deep fades. Uh, I don't know what he's... Did he just really delay of game? You're not helping yourself, bro. It's okay. I think he's quitting right now. I'm pretty sure he's quitting right now. Hi, Yunyel. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Yeah, there it is. You wish offensive holding was the same penalty as intentional grounding? Um, I'm glad it's not. Um, was it? I didn't, like, I mean, obviously I've been playing this, so I, I haven't had a chance to see. Um, my friends have been texting me the whole time um, telling me how great it was and, and what they think are going to be great games, but I haven't seen anything for myself yet, so. All right, we need two more wins tonight, guys. Two more wins, and I'm going to switch over to Fortnite. I might play one more game with my Night Train once I unlock him. But we need two more wins to unlock Night Train. And, uh, yeah, I needed ten at the start of the day. We've gotten eight so far. Because defensive holding is always a first down. Yeah, okay, I guess I get where you're coming from there. But the other thing is, like, yeah, I don't know. Because I feel like... The reason defensive holding is always a first down is because it's not a spot foul like pass interference is. You know what I'm saying? So, like, pass interference being a spot foul um, usually is going to give you a first down. Defensive holding is not a spot foul, though. I mean, like... So that's kind of why they do that. I don't know. I, I understand it. I got mixed feelings about it, though. Um, it's kind of like how a tied possession always goes to the receiver. That kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, I totally get where you're coming from, though, Het. It's it's definitely a totally, absolutely valid, um, valid stance to have on the on the subject. I feel like I should have put Penny, or not Penny, uh, Evans in in the spy instead. Not that it matters, but because usually they'll run it on first down anyway, pretty much kind of regardless of their offensive philosophy or. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess. But the whole reason they did that was it was like an offensive-minded um, penalty situation designed to help. Uh... There we go. Third and seventeen. 
Oh, not this set. Not again. Okay. God damn it. I hate that. Switch to a cover three Mabel. Put Levante David in the spy. So now we have kind of like less central coverage, which is going to fuck us on this Shannon Sharp play. But there we go. Rashawn Evans. Wow. He does not start moving very fast. See, but that, I mean, the flip side is like they've been working to reverse that in, in recent years. I mean, like getting rid of the tuck rule, all that stuff. Like, it's not like, it's not like they don't understand that. You know, they understand that it's a little, a little biased towards, uh, towards offenses right now and they're they're working to make it a more fair game and I really I really value that personally. But I mean the other thing you have to consider is as um as uh, uh the talent level increases, so like the longer we're alive with genetics and sports science and all that stuff evolving it only stands to reason that offense is going to continually, I mean, without without help from the rules, it's going to continually get better and more dominant um, just because offense already has the advantage because they know what's going to happen. Those are not crap rules. Those are literally designed to save lives. So they're getting rid of the bullshit rules while also including rules to, that will literally save people's lives. Here he goes. That's that's what I think the important thing to focus on is like these rule changes they're making to hits are designed to save people's lives and save people's careers. Okay, yes, it's football, injuries happen. But when you see the CTE scans of these these people after they die um and and what their brain looks like from the hits uh I think Sterling Sharp Definitely, yeah, definitely could have made the Hall of Fame if his, if his neck injury never happened. He's just going to keep running with uh, Mayfield every time I don't run a spy. Okay, maybe not. That is absolute bullshit logic. They signed up to play a sport. They did not sign up to destroy their fucking brains. That is some of the most flawed logic I have heard in a long time. They didn't sign up to turn their brains to mush. They signed up to play a sport. Injuries happen, right? People tear their ACLs on non-contact injuries. People break ribs when they, when they get tackled. You know, you break your collarbone if a 300-pound lineman falls over on you. Like, it, it happens, right? Like, injuries happen. There is absolutely no reason for you to have to give up 40 years of your life just because you wanted to play a sport. That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, and the point is it's stopping defensive, uh, defenseless players from having their brains smushed. Oh, that's picked. See, I'm, I'm too busy arguing in the chat right now to pay attention to the fucking game. No, there's absolutely no reason for those kind of helmet-to-helmet -helmet hits. Absolutely none. What? What is... What? What? I'm talking about helmet to helmet because that's what those play those rule changes are designed for. What is this guy doing? What? Kickoff rules, dude. The reason they made the changes to the kickoff rules is because more more concussions happen on kickoffs than any other kind of play.
The changes to the kickoff rules is literally to stop helmet to helmet hits. Because they happen so frequently. People get concussions so often on kickoffs, it's not even funny. Like, kickoffs, at least they're still in the game. Look at it that way. Because the movement right now that's that's winning is to get them completely removed. So the fact that they're even in the game at all right now is kind of kind of a miracle, in my opinion. The players can suck it up. A lot of players really do like the rules. I genuinely think Calvin Johnson would still be playing right now if they had the kind those kind of rules back when he was in the league. I don't think he retires early. I do not think Calvin Johnson retires early. There's a lot of players who have who have had to leave early and, and retire early because of concussions. Patrick Willis retired early over uh, injury concerns. Damn. Patrick Willis, I mean, he was on his on his uh, on his way to a first ballot Hall of Fame career. I don't know if he makes the Hall of Fame now, but I definitely I definitely respect his decision to uh, to retire. I I absolutely respect that decision, and he's not the only one. Brett Favre says he's got massive memory loss. You know, and and there's other ex NFL players who will not let their kids play football because of because of stuff like that. Like those rules are literally the only way to save the the sport of football right now. It's the only way to do it. I know Navarro Bowman thought about retiring. Um, ben Roethlisberger has been considering retirement for like three years now because of it. Like, there's a lot of players. I mean, who doesn't love seeing a big hit? Except, I mean, like like Kiko Alonso's hit on on Joe Flacco last year. Joe Flacco is not that good of a quarterback, right? Like, it's not like you can argue people go out of their way, like refs go out of their way to protect him or anything. When, when Kiko Alonso fucking murdered... Oh, my God. Okay, no, I went out of bounds. Cool. Um, when, Ki when Kiko Alonso... I mean, he practically murdered Joe Flacco last year. That's not fun. You know? It, and that's, that's a big hit, right? Like, oh, my God. Come on, dude! What the fuck is going on here? Like, I love seeing big hits. But, like... If seeing fewer big hits means seeing fewer hits like Kiko Alonso's hit last year, I'm all for it. Is what I'm trying to say. Can I switch to a player who's actually next to the running back, please? Not all these linebackers who are halfway across the field. Holy fuck. Got his ass. Because, I mean, who doesn't love seeing someone get their shit kicked in every once in a while? But, like, those kind of hits, like, we got to get rid of those. We can't, we can't be having that. A little cover three buzz.
No fucking way. That's the only thing he's completed all game. He's gotten sacked more than he's actually gotten to throw the ball. And he's completed that exact same route against the exact same defense. Both times. And a little sky press. Oh my god. Wow. That is frustrating to say the least. I, uh, mm, I don't think that one was very clean, to be completely honest. But but it was an incidental play, you know? Like it could have been clean, might not have been. It's kind of iffy. In in those instances, I say penalize them. You know, if it could be, if it could go either way, err on the side of caution. Because he just fucking lowered his helmet right in there and just blasted the shit out of him. Right, right, and that's what I'm saying. Like, he led with the shoulder, but the contact was made with the helmet. So, like, incidental... Probably. Did it still happen? Yeah, it did. You know. And any time they take the the referee's feelings out of a call, I like it. I like it a lot because then you can't be like, you know, then, then the refs can't just, uh, you know, pick and choose which plays they feel like calling and which ones they don't, you know? Um, like, I'm a Lions fan. I've seen how that can fuck a team over really bad. Every year there's at least one or two games the Lions get fucked out of because of, because of calls like that where, you know, the ref can call it however he wants to. I love how he never, like, catches it while it's laying on his stomach. Not this year, though! I was actually at Lambeau, and I, I watched the Lions beat the piss out of the Packers, and that was that was really fun. That was very fun for me. I, that doesn't happen very often, so you can imagine how excited I was. Oh, damn. I only had one guy to beat, and I didn't beat him. Spider-Man stole the show? I'm not surprised. People always freak out about Spider-Man games, and this one actually looks really good. I'm, I'm kind of in, interested in it. And I've never been much for uh, Spider-Man games. Just not my kind of game, you know? It's not, nothing against them. Just not really my kind of game. But uh, I actually, I'm, I'm pretty interested in this one. I might actually pick it up and, and stream a playthrough of it. I'm not sure yet. Probably put a vote on Discord or something like that. Put it on Twitter, put it on Discord. Cucked again. Oh shit! He's staying with him. All right. It's like an Arkham City game, but Spider-Man? That actually sounds super cool. I'm not going to lie. That sounds awesome. Damn it, man. 
Electro, Rhino, and Scorpion? Like, I'm, are we talking like Sinister Six kind of shit right here? Venom, oh. Dude, all I need to hear, there's one word I need to hear about, about this, uh, about this game. If I hear the word carnage, I'm picking it up. Like, I don't even care if I stream it. I don't even care. I, I, I don't care. If I hear, if I hear carnage is going to be in a Spider-Man game, I'm picking it up. I, I love carnage so much. The devs say every villain gets a gets a venom. Um, well, no, because my season's not over yet. But I did my wild card weekend stuff. Oh, what the hell? I'm trying to keep going to the left, but apparently that's not allowed here. It's all good though. It's all good. It's all good. That's not what I wanted. Damn it. All right, we'll take the field goal, I guess. Hey, Creepers. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> they don't think I'm actually going to kick it. Psych! I'm actually kicking it. There's a rumor that the Punisher's in it? Dude. Okay, so the reason that would be really cool, let me explain this real quick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show off my, my Marvel geek side. If you read the Marvel Civil War actual, like, all the comics, all the comics for it, right? Um, sword from the tattoo. Right, so, so the Punisher in, um, in Marvel Civil War actually kills a couple of Spider-Man villains. They're kind of like C-list Spider-Man villains. They're not really anything people give a fuck about. Um, but I would love to see him just come in and start fucking people up. You know? He's starting to run a little little more of a check down kind of thing. Slept very uncomfortable last night. That always sucks. You ain't going nowhere! Watch the E3 trailer tonight. Last of Us trailer? I expected the Last of Us trailer to be good. Because, uh... There's not really anything you can say that's bad about... About that. Shit. Oh, fuck. I was trying to switch to cover three, but... Yeah, because the Punisher is one of my favorite Marvel characters. He's he's definitely really up there. Butter, here's, here's a question for you. What did you think of the Warzone arc for Punisher? What did you think of that? Also, what did you think of uh, 80s punk um, Storm? Those are my two questions for you. What did you think of the Warzone arc, and what did you think of 80s punk Storm? Oh, shit. I definitely thought he was going to throw that stupid corner out thing he's been throwing all game. I'm 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 totally okay with whatever you respond to this. I'm I'm just curious. Zombie Punisher? Okay, fair. G 
Jesus, fuck, man. He's double covered. I got two guys on him. They can't stick with him on a simple corner out? Come on, bro. That's that's really, really irritating for me. That's incredibly frustrating. I I don't trust it. Oh, you're typing on an iPad? Sure. I understand. But yeah, Spider-Man's taking your money. I, I totally get it. Is this guy quitting? What's he doing? My strong safety is the 96 Patrick Chung um, from NFL Replays. My free safety is uh, the 96 Minka Fitzpatrick from NFL Draft. Um, they both come up to a 97. Um, Minka Fitzpatrick has um, his... Because he's got double read and react, and then he's got uh, blanket coverage too. Patrick Chung has double read and react and tip drill, which comes in super handy. It's really nice. How many... Do I... I think I only need one more win, to be honest. Pretty sure I just need one more. I'm going to double check. Uh, for anyone who hasn't gotten to see my team yet, I'm about to show it off. It's pretty cool. Um, but we're going to go under objectives and see. I think I need literally one more win tonight. Yeah, I need one more win. Um, we're also up to uh, first team all pro, which puts us in the top 6% in the world. Yeah, so here's the offense. Uh, my new toys, Jamize Olawe. Uh, Aloha. Goodness, Olawale and uh, Nate Solder, who's super good. He's got secure pass blocker, which is really nice. Now I have two offensive linemen with secure pass blocker. Very nice. Um, and then this is the defense. Um, since the last time I streamed, I got the golden ticket Aaron Donald, Malik Jackson, Everson Griffin. Um, so my, off or my defensive line is really good. I'm working on getting the 97 Anthony Hitchens. Um, but I don't know if he's going to replace Rashawn Evans because I'm, I'm probably just going to put him at left outside and replace Von Miller with him because uh, he's got the same chemistry as Von Miller, but he's also got secure tackler and uh, better zone coverage. So, No Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer. I caught it before Nightbot did. Wow. That's really weird for me to think about. All right. One more game. One more game. Yep. We are nine and three tonight. I am 22. Why do you ask, General Flint? <laughs> no, I'm Patrick. <laughs> Got him. Yep, so we just need one more win tonight. That's going to get us our night train. And, uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to getting this guy for a long time. Uh, just been kind of focusing on solo grinds and stuff. So. Been trying to max or uh, max complete as many solo challenge sets as I can. Sitting on a 96 offense, 96 defense right now, so it's pretty cool. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty close. Hopefully within the next day or two um i'll have the 97 hitchens and the 99 sherman on top of this 99 night train should be the last game though with any luck it's me knocking on the wood of my desk so there's our top three Let's see what they got for their top three i have not had school I stopped going to college a year and a half ago. The Kingpin's one of the main villains in the new Spider-Man game? Bro. Consider me officially hyped. Because Okay, so if, if the Kingpin... Because that means they're getting like Marvel Knights, Marvel Defenders, um, 
villains involved, obviously, like, with uh, the Punisher in there and stuff. Um, you you kind of get a hint of that. But if the Kingpin is the guy who puts together the Sinister Six, I'm definitely 22. Oh. He did run it. Okay. Interesting. For a second, I thought that was a play-action pass. What's what's the quarterback? The 96 Steve Young? Yeah, this guy's team shouldn't be able to compete with me, but uh, he's got Steve Young, so anything's possible, right? I mean, do you want me to go to my kitchen and grab a whole bunch of booze? Shut the fuck up, Butter. I don't need you feeding into this. He missed his window. He missed his window. Whoever that 84 is, he was open for about a second, maybe a second and a half there. You want me to go get a bunch of booze. I'm going to level with you. My my roommate moved out and uh, and he took all the bottle openers with him. So I haven't I haven't gotten a uh, They're not bullying. Nothing they say can affect me that much. At least not about my age. I know I look young. I don't need them to tell me that. It gets really annoying when I get carded for uh, just about anything. Oh, he's got the 97 Casey Hayward. All right. I'm, I'm probably going to have to block this General Flint dude, though. Because I'm getting spammed right now. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do that quick. All right, fair enough, guys. This is really annoying. Um, I wouldn't say in the chat. I'm just banning him on PlayStation because he's spamming me. Don't don't ban him in the chat. I'm just uh I'm just trying to stop the notification spam. I'm still getting them, but it'll stop eventually here. Yeah. I didn't really have anywhere to go with that. I probably could have gotten it into uh cuz like it's covering up, like, a fifth of my screen right now. Which is super fucking frustrating. Oh, shit. I did actually want to audible him. Well. And that's not what I wanted either. There we go. Oh, shit. All right, let's get outside. Oh, oh, no. No. Okay. All right. I thought I straight up thought I was throwing a throwing a pick there. That's okay. Yeah, I thought you hated Nerds Butter. Okay, I'm still getting notifications from this dude, and I'm getting really pissed because it went through as a block.
All right, I'm turning off my notifications quick, guys. Um, let me... I got to turn off my notifications. I can't handle this. go. That was really frustrating. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Yeah, I had to I had to I had to stop that. Oh my god. Yeah, I had to I had to turn them off. I had to block the dude and turn off my notifications completely. I don't think we need to ban him in the chat. I just think uh, I needed to needed to do that. He still caught that? What? You want to play Madden? Well, I'm not playing with subs tonight, but I will be putting my new stream schedule out this week, and uh, it will have a subscriber day in it. So there's that. Holy shit. Von Miller actually caught something, guys. I can't believe he actually caught something. That's insane. That's like the fourth or fifth pick six I've gotten tonight, I think. I think it's the... I think it's the fourth. We're nine and three on the on the day. You're watching Incredibles two on Thursday. Kind of jealous. I might watch it next week Tuesday. A spy on. I think he sees that. He sees it. He totally sees it. This Rashad Evans is actually really good, though. Or Rashawn Evans, excuse me. Oh shit. That was a secure tackler that I wasted there. There we go. What did what did you do wrong? Um, nothing that I'm aware of. I just uh, got about 80 million notifications from you. I don't have a spy on again. Oh damn! If I'd have realized it was switching to Barber, I totally could have picked that. I thought it was switching to Everson Griffin. What the fuck, hat? That is that is too far. Got him. That's the thing I love about running a 4-3 and putting middle linebacker in the sky in a, in a spy like that. Yeah, I think he's he's probably quitting right here. Yep, there it is. You know what that means, folks. 
We finally got him. We finally got him. There's my 3,000 coins, my 55,000 coins from the Ultimate Master, opening up my fantasy pack for the Ultimate Master completion. And there's the one we want. Mm, read and react. So good! So good. Let's compare him. Let's let's compare him to my other uh, my others right now. Better across the board. Better for the most part across the board. He's he's gonna have uh, better zone coverage with chemistry. Well, the, I mean it's both 90, 90 uh, It's ninety nine for both of them, but. All right, so let's uh, let's promote this guy to our starter. Gonna make my life oh so much easier. And I needed the coins from that bad because I'm trying to get that Anthony Hitchens tomorrow, guys. And uh, I need all the coins I can get right now. So let's go take a look. Want to make sure that my defense is set up the way I want it. Yeah, I wanted my Ronde Barber in the slot. So Ronde's in the slot. Got Shaquille at, at two, Night Train at one. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can't see the top right corner of my screen right now, so we're gonna. Vulture was in the trailer too. Wow, they they got they got everything in there, bro. Um, we're gonna we're gonna click on squads quick. It does consider my defense a 97 now, which is awesome. There we go. Two D tackles and my night train. Yeet! Oh, feels really good. Feels really, really good. Cause what all are what are what are all his letter chemistries again? Right. So he's got he's got double read and react. Oh, Carnage is he's kinda like Venom, but way cooler. Okay, so he's got oh that's not what I'm looking for either. I know he's got secure tackler and tip drill. Does he have anything else? I think it's just those. Yeah, secure tackler, tip drill, double read and react. So he's got 99. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's Venom skin, but with Spider-Man's blood. Um, yeah, I, I will. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Do you guys want to see me play one more game with the Night Train, or do you want to see me switch over to Fortnite tonight? What's the verdict? I'm down for whatever. I just want to know what you guys want to see. I told Ethan I'd play some Fortnite with him one way or another tonight, so I'm I'm for sure sw switching to Fortnite at some point. It's just a matter of, am I going to play another game? Do you guys want to see me play some Fortnite right now? You want to see your dad? You want to see one more game? You're looking at your dad, Zanes! Check it on Discord. That's my that's my role is boss man, aka dad. It's true. It's true. I'm sorry I never came back from getting milk, dude. Had, I want to run a fake spike so bad. I just haven't had a chance all night. <laughs> Fucking Zanes. All right, we're going to play. Well, you see, the first store I went to was out of milk. So I had to drive down the road to the next store. And guess what? That one was out of milk, too. So so you'll never guess what I had to do. I, I had to go to the next store, and they were out of milk, too. 
I had to go like 500 miles away. And by the time I got there, my car broke down, right? So I'm stuck in this city with a broken down car and I can't spend any money to fix it because I spent all my money on gas trying to get milk. It's true. It's true. That's that's why I left Het. Just just for the record, if if Zane's ever tries to uh, to dispute that, I have you and you and Creepers to confirm that it's true. It's gonna be kind of annoying. I knew you'd understand, son. Just remember, your father loves you. Hey, can we get a quick leg spike for the for the night train? Unlocking night train tonight? Because we got his ass. We got him unlocked and ready to rock, and we're giving him the ball first. Because I want to break this bad boy out. Let's go. Please throw at him. Please, please throw at night train. That's That's all I'm asking for now. All of my interceptions tonight have been like with my linebackers and I want one with my new toy. I mean I've gotten I've gotten Shaquille Griffin interception, I've gotten um, Patrick Chung interceptions. But most of them have come from uh, from my linebackers. I what I really want, like perfect way to cap off this night would be a pick six with night train. That'd be awesome. Well, there's another Rashawn Evans interception. Haven't had enough of those tonight. What if I went the, fir the whole first drive with fake spikes? Here, I got an idea. I got an idea. I'll run the ball. Hello, Meeseeks. Welcome to the last game of the night for Madden. I'll be switching over to Fortnite after this. Thanks for tuning in, though. All right, so we're going to run the ball here. Can I audible to a fake spike? Uh, what do I want? Yeah, that, that was a terrible idea. All right, but I did run it for you. I did run it for you. I wasn't going to throw, throw up an interception right away. I want to actually kind of win this game. Kind of actually really want to win this game. My first game with Night Train, really want to get a win. Thank you, Will Fuller, for putting the stickum on this game. <laughs> I got you, buddy. Oh, he dropped it. Damn. You ran a seven, seven and a half minute mile and your calves are dead? Well, I mean, you did just run a seven and a half minute mile. So there's that. Spin him right into the next guys. 
What am I doing in these waters? Well, I just unlocked uh, the 99 overall night, night train lane. So that for starters. He's got the, I, I'm pretty sure that's the 97 Vic. So we're just gonna keep the QB spy on with Evans. Mm-hmm, creamy indeed. Yeah, we've already picked off this guy once. I've won 10 games today and I've lost three. So we're 10 and three on the day, doing pretty all right. Pretty all right, folks. If you're new to the chat, do me a huge favor and slap that like button. This is the last game I will be playing on Madden tonight. I'll be switching over to Fortnite afterwards. What? 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 Why? For what cause, Madden? That was another pick six, bro. Ah! Making that money. Old McDonald had a rock farm, and I tell you what, they didn't pick themselves. I like you. What do you think of me? I don't rightly know, sir. Oh, wow. He stayed true to his zone there. Look at that. Look at that. That's called play recognition, folks, and a lot of it. You spent, I, I know, I saw all the notifications popping up on my PC that I used to uh, watch my chat. <laughs> I think you're a charming modern gentleman. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm surprised none of those four guys came down with it. I had three guys there. He had a safety that the ball pretty much got handed to. No one came down with it. Okay. Yeah, Fallout 76 I think looks pretty cool. I'm not much for Fallout games, but I'm and I'll be real, probably not going to get this one, but uh it does look really good. It does look really good. For anyone who just tuned into the chat, I know a whole bunch of people just popped in. Um I unlocked the Night Train Lane tonight, the 99. So uh we're kind of playing with him right now. Played 13 games today. We've won 10 of them. Looking for our 11th. All right. Yeah, he didn't run up the seam, which is good for me, except that he ran crossers too, which is pretty bad for me. All right. Yeah, I expected him to run seams and, and try to get it to one of his, um, get it to one of his, like his slot receiver, and that didn't happen at all. I swear to God, if it says roughing the passer, there it is. That fucking glitch again. Yeah, um, I think I think the uh, free DLC is going to be the thing that sets... Um, is going to be the thing that sets Division 2 apart from Division 1. Because um, the first Division, let's be real, unless you bought DLC for it, it, it really didn't have much to it. Um... I do remember when you did old Greg for W uh, for uh, WWE 2K17. Yeah, that was some serious shit though with the uh, 
It was some shenanigans if I've ever seen it. Shenanigans if I've ever seen it. It's going to give you the sucky sucky. We're going to run with just our, our base 4-3 set. I got the under pressure trigger, but it uh, didn't matter. He was he was wide open. Last of Us is your favorite game all time. You have 2,000 hours on the division between console and PC. That is uh, dedication. I actually, one of my favorite uh, people on Twitter, she loves the division. She's She's got probably as many hours into it as you do. Maybe not quite that many, but she's got a lot in there. Oh, wow. Wow! That was crazy! Your all-time favorite's Red Dead? That's fair. I'm not really one to tell someone that something shouldn't be your favorite. Like, if something's your favorite, it definitely is for a reason. Um, and who am I to tell you that, that you shouldn't like something that you clearly enjoy? You know? That's just kind of my like personal philosophy. Yeah, he's he's milking the clock right now. My all-time favorite G uh, game is Gears of War 3. For anyone wondering, I figure someone is probably bound to ask that question here soon, so just answer it right away. I haven't I haven't played the Batman games enough to have an opinion on this, but I did enjoy I did enjoy uh, City. Yes. Bitch, get hit. All right, so they put points up on us, but uh, we're still up seven. Yeah, I kind of figured that's what you meant, Butter, but I wasn't I wasn't going to interject there. Oh shit. Yep. That corner blitz. Honestly though, I I would love for people to stop saying that too. There's there's no way Batman beats Thor. I love Batman, no way he beats Thor. Absolutely none. Um, shit. What the hell? Yeah, here comes the timeout. We're gonna get them to waste it. Yeah. Thor, Thor would absolutely murder Batman. I mean, given enough time and preparation, I'm sure there's a way that Batman could beat him, but... Just tr straight up fight against each other? Absolutely not. Calendar Man Easter Egg. Not really sure what you're talking about.
Well, okay, but you got to think about it this way. If uh, if Batman could find a way... Wow, that was not anywhere near as good as I thought it was going to be. If Batman could find a way to make um, Thor become not worthy, I feel like he'd he'd have a chance. You know, same way he had a chance against... Uh, against Superman once he found a, a way to create a weakness. Yeah, good. It gave it, it gave me inbounds. Awesome. Why did it have Ken Crawley in the spy? Ken, Ken Crawley's not supposed to line up there. He's supposed to line up over... Uh, Wait, what do I mean? Or are you saying Alfred... What are you asking what do you mean to, I guess, is my question. Oh, boy. He was out the back. Okay, cool. He, he overthrew it to butter. Yeah, I don't know what he means either. What the hell? Bro! What the hell? Unreal. That is such horse shit. I'm not saying convince him. Trick him into accidentally doing it. And there's other ways to become not worthy, too. Yeah, uh, this is my last game on Madden, and then I'll be switching over to Fortnite. I'm really fucking annoyed there. I can't believe... First off, I can't believe that kick was that fucking short. Second, what just happened there? Um, I promised I'd play with Ethan. So if you guys have threes, probably not. Secure tackler. No, 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 no. I'm saying there's there's other ways that he could he can convince him. He wouldn't have to murder just a bunch of innocent civilians like I don't know betray someone or or you know make him kind of like uh, when the Joker made Superman think that Lois Lane was Doomsday. in the uh, in the injustice arc exactly exactly cuz he has like the joker's stuff he has scarecrow's fear toxin like he could he could pull any of that if he needed to Like, he could do any of that if he needed to. So, that's kind of my reasoning. But, like, there's there's other ways. But, but again, like, that's not talking random random uh, meetup, straight up fist fight, who's going to win. That's like, if Batman has time and planning, like, there are ways. But, like, straight up, Thor's got him all the way. All the way. Right. Right. But there's ways to make him do stuff intentionally that he wouldn't otherwise do. Or, or I shouldn't say make him. Convince him to do that he wouldn't otherwise normally do. Fuck. 
No, I threw the ball away, dude. What the fuck? I tried to throw the ball away, and he just tucks it and crumples like a paper bag. That's pretty great. I'm still probably getting Battlefield 5. It's a Battlefield game that I'm actually excited for. Let that sink in a little. That's more the kind of punts I expect to get. I'm saying, right now, I'm saying even, even without causing him to become unworthy, there's ways he could do it because of, like, fear talks and joker gas. Miller! You're more excited for COD? I am not at all excited for COD. I think it looks terrible. I want nothing to do with it. It's Treyarch, so if it turns out being okay, I'm not surprised. But uh, I, right now, I don't think it looks very good. I know a lot of people are going to get it just for zombies. I know a lot of people are going to get it because they want to try the Battle Royale mode, but... I just don't see it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. MW2 Remastered? I might be tempted to get Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. I might be tempted to get that because uh, Modern Warfare 2... Might be my favorite Call of Duty of all time. I, I really liked Modern Warfare 2. It was absolutely busted, and in no way was it a, a balanced or fair game, but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Ooh. Okay. All right, I see you. He didn't come down with that either. Damn it. All right, that's a field goal, I guess. His red zone defense is pretty good. I probably could have... Uh... I don't know. I don't know if you can become unworthy of the axe. Oh my god! Now I'm upset. I really gotta, I really gotta pay attention more to the game when I'm kicking than the chat. Yeah, I don't know if he can become unworthy of the axe. To be completely honest. I switched to cover three Mabel. I want someone in the flat over here. Clearly I needed it on the other side though. Great, awesome.
Is he just going to let this run out to the two-minute warning? Or to the uh, fourth quarter, I mean? Yeah, I'd say that's a problem. There we go. Thank you, Levante David. We're just going to keep sticking with this for now. Jesus fucking Christ. DB fighters, you like that one? I don't I don't care for uh, Dragon Ball. I'm not checking the chat right now, fish. As a rule, I I don't care for Dragon Ball, so I can't speak to it. Oh my god, these fucking flats are going to eat me alive. All right, butter, sounds good. Corn's a good a good group. I recommend them. If you're looking for stuff that's a little weird, but it's pretty good. That's better. that David Johnson. Corn is terrible for you. What are you talking about, Fish? Oh, no. You've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. I even told them to back off on the coverage. It's only Moss. It's like 98 Moss. He's not that good. I mean, he's good, but he's not that good. Fuck. Oh my god, dude. I'm going to be so upset. I'm so irritated. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does, if I remember right. At least once. I do want to thank everyone tuning in. Uh, this is going to be my last game on Madden for tonight, and then I'm switching over to Fortnite. I've won 11, uh, 10 games, and I've lost 3 so far. And we're playing game number 14. It was looking really good early on, but now... I've had some kind of bullshit stuff happen. Roughing the passer pen penalty on a, on a sack. Ball never left the dude's hand. Throw the ball, please. Sometime this lifetime. No? Okay. That's cool. That's cool, too. I'm trying to think if it breaks twice. I know for sure it breaks once, but I, I, I can't think if it breaks a second time. Oh, shit. I don't even know what to do at this point. Because, I mean, it's four down territory, so all I have to do really is, like, pick up some yardage to make this a more manageable fourth down. Um be kind of annoying if if I can't get this though come on please catch it are you serious dude I'm so I'm so sick of this like honestly though and with as broken as it is right now like just take it out of the game it's not doing anyone a favor. Except once in a while, if you get lucky enough to have your opponent get called for it. There we go. 
This is what I've been waiting for all game. Thank you, Calvin. Still plenty of time to play here. I was kind of hoping he'd rough my kicker there, but not meant to be, I guess. All right. I just got to stop their defense. And with this little time on the clock, I think they're still probably going to be working the flats is what they're going to try to do. Um, although they did throw two interceptions early in the game doing that. So if I can get my defense kind of back to that same position, I should be fine. Uh, for anyone wondering, I am currently uh, all pro first, uh, first string in, in seasons. So that means that I'm top 6% in the world as of right now. Lucky bastard. And tonight we also unlocked our uh, 99 overall night train lane from the, the ultimate master challenge. It's so hard because I need to have a spy. I need to have a spy on Vic. Right. But in order to do that effectively, I'm either sacrificing... Oh, shit. I didn't want that either. Fuck. I'm either sacrificing coverage in the flats, which is kind of a big deal against this guy. I don't know. I don't know what I can do here. I picked him off twice, like his first two drives. I picked him off, and then ever since then, I've been having a bad time. Let's let's try cover two. He hasn't really been running post routes. He's been uh, running a lot of plays high and outside. Oh my god! I took my guy out of the flat completely. God damn it. No, I didn't. Where the fuck was Shaquille Griffin? Isn't that a hard flat? Fuck it. We're running hard flats now. One way or another, this is we're getting our hard flats. There's the run. Oh shit, he's in field goal range now. We gotta, we gotta start burning our timeouts. Because unless we force a turnover here, he is already in field goal range, and he'll just kill the clock. So yeah, we gotta, we gotta stop him from doing that. Thank you, Patrick. All right. 82 yards to go. Less than a minute and two timeouts to do it. Let's uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, I, I know. I'm actually really excited to try out the thermal scope they are. Let's go. Thank you, Brandon. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's a timeout. I got to plug in my headset. It's about to die. All we got to do is get into field goal range, which for me is about the 35-yard line. If we can get to the 35-yard line, we'll be in really good shape. Oh, he didn't catch it. Damn it. All right. We got 25 seconds to get 15 yards. 25 seconds to get 15 yards. I think we can handle this. Uh, the more important thing, though, is we got to move the sticks first. We got to make that happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on! We got to get back to the line. I need six more yards. We got 15 seconds. Let's go. Like that. All right, we're going to try for it right here. 53-yarder. I made a 53-yarder earlier tonight. Let's see if I can make this one. He's icing me. Um, but what he did let me see 
is that uh, I don't actually have enough room to make that play. I don't. I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough kick power to make that play. It's gonna bounce off the crossbar. They're, it sounds like they're only temporarily disabled, though, Buzzer. They're only temporarily disabled. He doesn't know that I can't make this kick. He genuinely, like, he thinks I can still make this kick. But he did ice me, so... All right, let's go. Let's go, X. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! No! Okay, we're going to overtime, folks. I am playing Fortnite after this game. Yep, for at least a couple of hours. All right, here goes nothing, guys. Here goes nothing. This guy's been playing me really tight for most of the game. I, I got up on him early, kind of blew kind of blew my lead, and then I've caught back up. So This is going nowhere fast, but I at least got a yard out of it. Two yards. Hey, I'll take two yards from that. We give ourselves a very manageable third down. Third and four is totally, totally, totally doable. Oh, that's not at all the play I wanted. Not even close to what I wanted. Not even close. Come on. He dropped it. Are you serious, bro? That's the fourth time this game. I should have called a timeout there. I should have called a timeout there. Oh, shit. It's inbounds. Fuck. Four times in one game, he drops the exact same fucking pass. Different route, but the same pass. Unbelievable. All right. We got to break out cover two hard flats, though. I need, I need my hard flats. Otherwise, this guy's just going to nickel and dime me right down the field and kick a field goal. Because that's all he needs right now is a field goal to win this game. I'm playing real people. I'm playing real people right now. This is a real person. Um, may or may not be ranked the same as me. I'm I'm ranked top six in the world right or top six percent in the world right now. Big difference. Um, thank you. Now all I need is a field goal, which is really nice. That was going nowhere, but I, I figured I'd try to get something out of it. I gotta, I gotta kind of play honest a little bit. But yeah, these are these are real people I'm playing against right now.
91 zone type crap needs to be removed. I'm, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Oh no. Um, fuck. Okay, that went right into the ground. Fuck me. Okay. We're. I'm not taking a chance on this. I really should have though. There we go. Perfect. Can get a little bit aggressive now. Um, let's blitz this guy. Oh fuck. Yep. Did not expect him to go to that side of the field. I, I thought he was going to roll out to his left like he has been all game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Fuck me, man. Picked him off four times, and I've only scored three. That's... That's a really bad ROI. Oh my god, there he goes. Oh, fuck! One time I don't run a spy the whole fucking game and that happens. Sit the fuck down, James Devlin. I'm not falling for your tricks. Even though they tell me tricks are for kids. Probably why I didn't fall for it, to be honest. That's not what I wanted at all. Fuck everything. That's the game I just lost. The one time I run cover two, too, of course. The one time all game he runs a post and I'm in cover two. Unreal. All right, I'm switching over to Fortnite after this. We're 10 and four for the night. Oh, damn it. I was hoping I could knock that ball out because I have fumbled on QB sneaks before. Wait, is he really doing this right now? Holy shit! Bro, that's not griefing, dude. That's not even close to griefing. I'm just playing smart. And he was not, I guess. Oh shit, nope. Okay, that's bad. No way, no way, dude! Yep, 
Dan Quinn's face says it all. All right. It's okay. You can't win them all. I've won 10 games today. I've lost four now. So I can't be too upset. I am pretty fucking upset, though. Because I told him to throw it high and outside, and then it completely missed the fucking tackle. Like, I go to initiate the tackle animation, and it just straight up doesn't. So that was super fucking frustrating. But uh, it is what it is. Um, so we're 10-4 and four for the night. I want to thank everyone who tuned in for Madden. I will be back shortly. Um, I need, like, a five, seven-minute break, um, and I'll be back on Fortnite for the rest of the night. So till then, peace out. Stay classy. See you guys in a few minutes. No, that was a terrible ending, though. I'm, I'm high-key salty. <laughs>